It is an experiment that the United States has attempted over and over again with the fate of millions of people at stake. A similar story is right now playing out in Venezuela. Our next report takes a look back at some of America's flawed experiments with democracy and the lessons that it has failed to learn. The toppling of Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein's statue in Baghdad on the 9th of April 2003 shortly after the United States invasion. Saddam Hussein's downfall was the beginning of an era of massive violence, looting and infrastructure breakdown. From the very outset, the Bush administration's clear lack of planning for the aftermath of its intervention was all too evident. In no time, the initial sense of relief and liberation of the Iraqi population disappeared, giving way to frustration. But the United States was determined to repeat history. It had set its eyes on Libya next, led by President Barack Obama in 2011. The goal was to save the lives of pro-democracy protesters who became targets of a crackdown by Libyan dictator Muammar al-Gaddafi. Eight years on, Libya is still embroiled in a civil war. Apart from the complete destruction of institutions and the politico-economic system, the human toll in Libya made for a grim scenario. The UNHCR estimates that at least 4,34,000 people have been internally displaced in Libya since 2011. As many as 25,000 people were killed U.S. President Obama himself admitted that failure to prepare for the aftermath was the worst mistake of his presidency. And his successor, Donald Trump, is now determined to intervene in Venezuela. The mission objective is claimed to be the same, to restore order and ensure that democracy thrives in the country. The United States officially recognized the legitimate government of Venezuela and its new president. Juan Guaido. We stand with the Venezuelan people in their noble quest for freedom, and we condemn the brutality of the Maduro regime. The numbers speak a different story, though. As per the American Center for Economic and Policy Research, more than 40,000 people have died in Venezuela since 2017 as a result of U.S. sanctions. According to the report co-authored by economists Jeffrey Sachs and Mark Wiesbrot, the sanctions have reduced the availability of food and medicine in Venezuela and increased the spread of disease and eventually mortality levels. The pattern is clear. The manner in which the US wants to meddle in other countries for the avowed purpose of bringing democracy is a flawed one. It's more than just a coincidence that these are all oil-rich countries and seem to be paying the price for America's greed. The state of democracy in the United States itself is a different story altogether. Its meddling in other countries brings to the forefront lessons that have not been learnt yet. America's trial and error continues and so does the debate over how long its laboratory can keep up with these experiments with democracy. Bureau Report, we on World is One. And that brings us to the office.